Hello guys, welcome to Ride VIP The Ratchet Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I want to tell you how much money did I make driving for Uber and Lyft this week and all I could tell you is for Monday through Saturday income and then I want to tell you guys what else I'm doing to try to complete this week uh, by actually overachieving it um, and that is by working today my full shift which is Sunday and I'm putting this video out on Sunday uh, with like this in mind so I want to make a video sometime in the morning to tell you if I have achieved this or not right now I'm working for uber only um, and that is just today I've been working for a lift mainly this week and some for uber as a, as a filler but obviously it's a very hard to work for both apps and to try to complete everybody's quests. Now, I was very successful in completing all the quests for Lyft. I'm talking about earlier in the week and then later in the week, I completed all those quests. Now, Lyft's quests, they were not that big, but the biggest difference when it came to Lyft is they got those rides, ride zone streaks. Three streaks, $21, three streaks, 18, 15. So I had a lot of that going on, plus I'm, I'm doing my um, my uh, other rides and stuff like that. So, and the rides for Lyft was paying a lot better because also I was in a lot of search zones. So now let me share with you how much money that I made with Uber, first of all. I'm just gonna go to earnings activity right now on my screen. Okay, I don't even know why I went to earnings activity. I, I already know better than that, okay. So we just need to go to earnings. So for the whole week, six days for Uber, I made $662.25 for Uber. That is in 32 hours, 24 minutes, and that is 70 trips, okay? So hopefully you remember that, right, write it down. So here's Lyft, $1,448.92. That is 88 trips, 44 hours and three minutes. Now, without doing like some crazy math, right? That is around $2,100, give or take, okay? That is close to that. My goal for this week was, it was, hold on, hold on a second. I wanna make sure, make sure everything's good here because I uh, gotta take an exit soon. My goal was to make at least $2,200 to let you know that is possible to do. I made a video maybe like a week ago saying that you could make like $2,200. And I think some of you guys thought that's quite impossible and I could see why. And that is because of the strategy that you're using. So I do want to give you like a strategy that I'm using. In case you're not using that strategy, maybe you could apply it. But then again, some of you guys are making even more than I am. Not a lot of you guys, that's why I said some of you guys. You guys are like, whoa, like I'm looking at you, I'm like thinking like, whoa, how did you do that? You know, so that's that's quite amazing. So, but all in all, you guys already know, I'm a hustler. I'm gonna get it done. I will get that money, you know what I mean? So, so what am I trying to do today? Today, first of all, minimal, minimal, I'm trying to do $300 income. If I make $300 in, in income today, my earnings for the week will be $2,400, okay? Now, what I'm hoping to achieve, okay, is an extra $150 on top of that. And I don't know if that's even possible, okay, because I'm re really uh, strained for time. Um, so I got this quest going on, right? If I complete 50 rides, I get an extra $160. I completed so far 22 trips out of that, okay? So I need to complete 80, uh, I'm sorry, 28 more trips. Now, today when I started out, I only had 18 trips completed and I started at 4.30. Uh, because I had to drive to Charlotte like technically it took me like one hour to drive so I left my house at 3 30 right now it's 5 52 so I completed four trips so far and that is from 4 30 till now 
So about hour and 30 minutes, four trips. Not great, not great. But if I could do three trips per hour, I will be able to achieve this bonus. That's gonna, you know, for 11 hour period, that's gonna be like 33 rides, okay? And the reason I say 11 hours is because when I started at 4.30, I only have to 4 a.m. to complete this quest Monday morning. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that at least I get those 50 rides in, okay? You know what that's gonna mean? Not only that I was able to complete Lyft's quest, the weekend quest for Lyft, I was able to complete Uber's weekend quest. And earlier in the week, I was able to complete Lyft's quest early in the week. I almost completed Uber's quest. I was missing two rides and then I didn't make it. That was only $65. So not a huge problem. But part of the reason I've been missing it is because, is because I spent one day, two hours with my kids. And that was enough to mess me up. Because you already know that it takes me one hour to drive to Charlotte, one hour back, so on top of me working 12 hours, I literally have to work two additional hours because I got to commute back and forth. And I told you I'm going to give you guys some strategies. But before I tell you that, first of all, I want to tell you, if you are in a good location, let's say if you work in Charlotte, but you live in Charlotte as well, man, guys, you could be doing even better than I am. I like, I wish, but I don't wish that I lived in Charlotte because my whole goal my whole goal is to try to like have a lifestyle that is full of freedom so i have the freedom to work i don't want to feel like i need to work just to live in charlotte this is why i live in south carolina one hour away that works out just fine for me you know but with that being said i've been working just about every single day some weeks i take one day off that's it and that day off I'm not just over there just like laying around. I'm doing other things. So it's really like not a day off. It's just time with family and then I do some stuff. Um, okay. So by me commuting one hour to work seven days a week, that is seven hours. Commuting back, that is additional seven hours. That's 14 hours on top of the hours that I work. That's going to be showing as me like Uber because I will record a screen recording of how many hours I've spent on Uber and Lyft. And I'm gonna tell you this, guys. It's probably gonna blow you away how many hours I've worked. And the reason that I'm actually even doing that to begin with, before I mention anything else, is to encourage you guys and let you know what's possible. That is possible. You just gotta put your mind to it. And no, I'm not trying to advertise for Uber or for Lyft to try to get you to work. I don't get nothing from that. As you notice, I'm like not even sharing you guys that you have the links for you to join. I, don't, I never even say, click on my link to join. Even though that would be awesome. In my earlier videos, I used to at least include, include the link. Uh, that was like three months ago. But then I kind of stopped doing that. Because my whole goal was to talk about money, how to make money, not to uh, just have you sign up to do Uber because, or Lyft. Um, my whole thing is, Look, this is a gig economy. Doesn't matter doesn't matter whether you work for Lyft, Uber, Grubhub, you know, what have you, right? Um, you could put your time in and you could make some money. Now, I want to throw this out there, okay? Just subscribe to this channel just to kind of like keep an eye on what's going to happen. I'm going to start another channel just because I want this branding to be just right VIP on this channel and just talk more about like right share. But I'm gonna start a channel that's more like, it's gonna be focused on gig economy and it's gonna be focused on business. And there's gonna be some places I'm gonna work for like one week or two weeks. I'm gonna start maybe like one week I work for Uber, one week for uh, Uber Eats, one week for maybe like driving for Lyft, right? Or whatever, I'm just giving you some example. Maybe one week I'm doing like Amazon delivery, like Amazon Flex, and on and on and on. So I'm gonna show you different money you could make per week. Uh, and I'm just gonna post one video a week. One week doing particular gig economy thing and I post that one week, the whole results of that week. Maybe there's gonna be some videos to follow like the 
like a follow-up video where I explain some other things. But the main thing is, I want you to be able to get from that. Say, okay, he worked on Uber, he made $1,500 in that week. And you wait a whole week to get that video. It's not gonna be like a video every day, like it's on this channel. Then maybe like, next video, like in a week, is gonna be like, one week I work for, for Lyft. Oh, he made $2,000 working for Lyft, okay. And then you can see what I did. You can see the times that I worked. You could see like everything. I'm gonna do the whole breakdown. All the mileage, all the fuel expenses, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then on top of that, I'll do like Amazon Flex delivery. Maybe somebody was wondering about that. Maybe I'll do some other stuff. Like not maybe, I will be doing other stuff. So after I record a week, a video, like literally, it's gonna be like a week, a video recorded keep a track of every single day and everything that I do and you'll be able to see everything that I do and then I post that video so I think this is gonna be quite interesting you wait a whole week for that video but you'll get to see everything I did in that whole week and then you already know wait one more week you're gonna be getting another video that's gonna be um, whatever other place I worked uh, on top of the gig economy I'm gonna try like different businesses maybe in one week uh, I'm gonna start like a painting service maybe I'm gonna paint paint somebody's house or whatever maybe I'll do some like mechanical work or whatever so I'll do some skilled stuff and uh, a lot of stuff that's like not skilled kind of like anybody in the gig economy could do like simple stuff you know that anybody could do by the right VIP I, I want to keep this as a right share type of channel that way and, and more like an encouragement type of channel some motivational stuff and uh, to show you and share with you guys what else you could be doing with your money um, and anyways moving on so here's the strategy I use guys so I don't care about the mileage I put on my car now if you got a brand new car this is not the strategy you should be using if you got a brand new car you want to maximize your earnings while minimizing how many miles you drive but it will hurt your income I just talked to my cousin he started without actually even like talking to me about it you know like everybody starts it like with the hush hush nobody wants to talk about how much money they make oh like like what are they like everybody like tries to hide that because they think they're smarter than somebody else or somehow they're gonna be better off by not talking about it right but that's a mistake because if you know somebody that's in the business especially like me I've been in it for two years and uh, man my allergies are kicking in like it's pollen like everywhere I guess like this is why I got my glasses on too oh my gosh but uh, especially like me I do my research I work I've been in this business for two years and I've been in other businesses for even longer so I know how to make money I know what what it takes because I calculate stuff and it's important while cal counting your miles is important it's not important when you got a used car because you get in a used car to basically make as much money as possible especially if you paid anywhere from twenty five hundred to five thousand dollars per car mainly my used cars could be like a 2006 will cost me about five thousand dollars you know by the time I fix everything and I you know make everything good with the car you know stuff like that like this BMW is $2,500 it cost me about 5,000 by the time I fixed everything on it and still there's gonna be other things that are gonna fix but I know this is a good dependable car for me so I'm at the airport I'm about to pick up somebody here and you know I don't know if they're gonna let me in over here if you guys are watching my video and I'm asshole in the BMW cut you off I'm sorry um, because I think a lot of you guys are right here over here um but anyways I got into the line where I gotta be picking up somebody but anyways you already know I make sometimes almost two thousand dollars a week sometimes fifteen hundred this week is gonna be about twenty five hundred dollars I'd say maybe even more okay um, I'm gonna push for more if I can but anyways if I'm making two thousand dollars a week right let's just say that at least 1500 of that is gonna be clean well that's clean profit that's net 2000 be gross so in two weeks I'm gonna net three thousand dollars in three weeks I'm gonna net four thousand five hundred dollars so think about it four thousand five hundred buys you a new a new used car for about five thousand dollars because you could negotiate you could buy it for lower you could you could always buy a fifteen hundred dollar car put the money in fix it yourself put new tires new brakes and whatever what have you and get the car up and running that car you don't need to worry about miles because those two, you got to get that money back in two weeks everything else is gravy on top of that and this is not tax advice 
you will still get the right off mileage mileage and this year the mileage is my standard irs mileage deductions for light trucks and you know like vehicles like like what we're using is 65 and a half cents per mile so next year when you do texas all the mileage is going to be written off at 65 and a half cents that means you will pay a little to no tax next year because you you're right using a used car and you already paid for it so the mileage takes into account you buying a new car you're making payments on it you're servicing that car like all the maintenance all the insurance all the you know wear and tear in your car the depreciation you know it takes everything into account like car washes you know car cleaning like anything to do with the car you know that's the that goes into the mileage section of your business I always deduct mileage so I get a used car I put as much mileage on it as possible I don't care about the mileage this car is to serve me now my cousin bought himself a 2022 Toyota Prius and it's a smart family but I'm thinking like how could they be so stupid why would you buy a car for $38,000 Toyota Prius to supposedly save money on fuel like are you kidding me that's like so counterintuitive because now you got a brand new car he's already got like almost 18,000 miles on it he put that mileage in two and a half months and you know what he's making per week he's making $600 a week and he's working 50 to 60 hours a week so I know what he's doing I, I don't even ask him but I know what he's doing he's worried about the mileage that he's putting in his vehicle so he's taking all these little short runs and whatever trying to probably come with the quest but that will not work out you're just gonna put you know you're just not gonna make any money six hundred dollars is nothing but anyways I gotta pick up a, a passenger um, probably should have went out and helped him but it's a small luggage but anyways guys thank you so much for watching take care of yourself and see you in the next video bye bye